Okay. Good morning, everybody. Look at the view, right? I'll show you. I'll turn around, actually. Oh, but I love the sun. So, all right. Word for the word for the day. Word for the word on the street today. Well, one. All right. So check everything I say and. Make sure to have your own relationship with God, your own relationship with the Creator, because that's so vital. But the, the message that I was getting today is just how important your life is. Your life is so important, and how you choose to direct it is important. Don't see yourself as a victim. I kept getting that impression is like, and, and this is just an invitation. You don't have to follow my instructions here. In fact, I, I, I really encourage you to take everything everybody says. There's a verse that says, I take all thoughts captive to Christ. And so, you know, your life is serious and you're here for a reason. And you have gifts inside of you that are meant to be activated here on this earth. If we're all part of this one spiritual body, then it's just like, look, if my, my foot's not working, then that's gonna affect the rest of the body. And so, you want to keep asking God, you know, not in an obsessive way, but just God, how can I know you? How can I get close to you? How can I hear your instructions for me? And hello, we have the whole Holy Scriptures. And um, those words are living and active. And so I did a live once on First Peter 1, 1 through 11. And it was like, if you do these things, you will never fall, <laughs> you know? And so I, I like that, but, um, whoa, sorry. <laughs> Didn't know he was just gonna jump. There's a jump right, there's a bike jump right here. Thank God he saw me. Maybe I had to move forward. I, I uh, usually go to a different place, but they're, they have these caterpillar things, you know, big construction things they're doing right there. Anyway, so, um, understand whose you are. When we pray, you know, and don't worry about this getting too religious. I'm, I only have a few minutes to do this part. It, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. It's like, how, how do we let God's kingdom be alive in us how do we activate that in us how do we allow god to activate that in us it's like i was thinking all these thoughts on my walk up here if if you love someone and they're like you're always at your work and i never get to spend time with you then you can see that part of the way is spending time and so uh, but if your identity is wrapped up in making a bunch of money, then you might lose those relationships because you're not investing any time and presence and meaningful interactions. And so the same with God, the same with divine love, our creator. If we don't set aside time to be quiet and purposefully choose so your mind is like an instrument and it's meant to be refined and, and used well towards the things of God. Now you don't have to make it super complicated. I was, I was meditating also on 2 Timothy 1.7. I think that's the verse. Whatever the verse is, you can look up that says, um, God did not give us a spirit of timidity, of, of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. And so I've just been reflecting lots and lots. What does it mean to have a sound mind? And when you look up the Greek and you look up uh, the root of that Greek word, sound mind, is like you have this capacity to direct your mind towards the good. You have this capacity to, to not dissipate, to not let your mind be leaking out towards, if I'm thinking about all these worries over here, or I'm thinking about how I'm going to make more money, and I'm not saying don't plan things, right? But if I'm thinking about what that person said to me yesterday, and I'm stuck in that, or what I'm going to say tomorrow, or what I'm going to do, and I'm all over the place, and my mind 
is so caught up in all of that. It's I'm never present with with God. I'm never present with It's a mind, it's, when you look it up in the Greek, it's a mind, God, speak to each of us, speak to each of us, speak through me, help me get out of the way of my personality self. In Jesus' name, amen. So it's a mind that, that is able to be disciplined and to, to be a disciple. That's where the word comes from. Uh, I can see part of the Greek word right now, but I don't remember how to pronounce it all. But So let's say if we are soldiers here on this earth, you know, we're meant to have, a, we're meant to be trained up, trained up so that we can do well. And so your mind is meant to be disciplined so that you know what you can, you can tell what distractions are and you don't go to them. So that when you have hills and stuff, like I climbed up a lot of hills to get here, it's not a problem. You just keep walking because you're conditioned to walk those hills. When you face suffering as a Christian, you know, and I welcome all people who are all different faiths here, but I, I'm speaking as, as a Christian myself, um, but I'm not trying to do that in an egotistic way. We have Christ in us. In Colossians 3, 3, it says, For you have died and your life is now hidden with God in Christ, with Christ in God. And so if our, if we have a duty here, if we, if there are gifts inside of us and we're meant to be creative and uh, at ease and not caught up in worry and anxiety and not pulled here and there, then it's like God gives us the invitation and the ability to have a sound mind. And we have to take up that invitation and exercise. It's just like if someone puts a book, how to exercise right there, and you're like, oh, that's a great book, and you don't do anything with it, and you don't do the exercises, how are you gonna get stronger? How are you gonna be effective? How are you gonna be conditioned in this world? And so one other thing that was coming to me that I wanna mention is I kept thinking of um, Bunyan's book, Pilgrim's Progress, and how uh, you know, he's on this path, just like these paths, right? He's on this path towards agape land, pretty much. Towards, because Jesus said, this is my new commandment, love, which is agape, love. If I do all of these things, but I have not love, it's nothing. It's nothing but clanging symbols, is what St. Paul says in First Corinthians. I think that's First Corinthians. It's, it's 13, but it's chapter 13, but, you know, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. Hold on. All right, I didn't know there's a whole, there's a whole group of women walking right now. It looks like 25 women or maybe 100. I see 25 so far. Anyway, and so, okay, just like they're walking on this trail, I won't show them because it's 25. <laughs> they stopped. Is, is, um, we are, we, there's, there's, he got getting delayed and so at first he's going on this trail towards god towards agape towards uh calvary towards the cross and then someone's like no you don't have to go that way road looks really painful jesus said the road is narrow and so he got pulled back for a little bit uh, or he kept going he's like no i'm gonna leave leave you know leave my father and mother leave this old way behind and keep going and then there was another distraction called worldly wise all right, and that's when you can keep 
uh, egotism is always empty. It's always looking for more, 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 more. So you can keep going. You know, I could have got three doctorates instead of one. And you keep going and trying to be wise in this world. But to what end? What is your telos? What is your end goal? People, people will go to churches and try to keep being their idea of religious. And yet it's hindering their relationship with God. Now I'm, I'm very, um, very we weary or whatever the word is. I don't want to talk about that too much because I don't want to discourage people from going to a church, but there's unhealthiness and there's distractions everywhere, everywhere you go. Um, and there's also people in a community that are seeking to know God. And so I'm like, okay, I have a thousand videos. So there's lots on these subjects. Um, today I was just getting bear adversity with love and And how important your life is and how important it is for you to know that uh, you're meant to take self-responsibility. Now, we cast all of our cares upon, upon God and we ask your will be done. And, and we give our will up to the higher will of God. But you're going to have to answer for your life, right? And so if you spent all your time... This is what I was going to say about the pilgrim's progress. Here's the pilgrim and his progress on this road, his or her, right? And if you get pulled over here, again, you get distracted and you stay in worldly wise and you learn how to do all these self-help things. But how are you going closer to God? If those self-help things help you to be disciplined in your walk with God, then, then take those and keep going, right? But don't keep going in this lure, this trap, you know? Look, it's a trap, you know, if you've seen that, is um, don't keep getting pulled back from your true path and just ask God. You know, I keep hearing in my heart, um, all of you who are weary and heavy laden, come unto me and I will give you rest. God will give you peace in all of the different things that I'm bringing up. You can see how it's like, this is just God working in me as well. And I want to, I want to come here with you and give away where, wherever I am. It's like other people can be in this same struggle, this same place of God, where are you in all of this? How can I not be distracted by those things that keep looking like they're important, but they're really keeping me in circles. Now, sometimes God will work like this, where it looks like you're going down, you know, and he's taking you up. And it's, it, it looks like, why am I going this long road when I could just take this shortcut? The world will always keep showing you shortcuts. God can accelerate things and bring you somewhere super fast, right? But anyway, I just want to encourage you. Your life is important and your mind is important. Your heart, your soul, your will. Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Be encouraged. You're not alone. All right, so, all right, much love.